What are you doing with a gun like that in your house? It's mine. Well, I didn't think it was the old bats down the hall. I was 11 years old when I first read the script, and I remember reading it. I was sitting in my dad's study. I was sitting in his chair, and um, I read it, and I was like crying by the end. I was very emotional, sort of little kid, and. Um, my parents were like, there is no way you're doing this movie. This is absolutely inappropriate for a child your age to be doing this film. And I was like, this is the greatest thing I've ever read. You're going to ruin my life. And was basically just fighting with them so much. Maybe God say, okay, you will have this, you will have this. And Natalie Portman, you will have this. Bing. Some people have that key to unlock those emotions and just let them out. And that's the best thing about acting. I think that you can be so free. You don't have, like in real life, I would never, I never cry like that. Of course, Jean Reno, you watch this guy on the screen for 30 seconds, you'll say, I can watch this guy for two hours. He's very interesting and very introspective. When you start laughing and um, uh, putting your mind outside of the story, it's quite dangerous because you can lose the level of the emotion. These people had completely horrible lives and they found light in it anyway. If a movie has a role, a part to play in the life of somebody, it's this small part. You can say everything if at the end you have an escape, if you have hope. I think that in a few minutes you'll regret you never said anything. Yeah.